welcome back to my channel to the guardians to the angels to our ancestors to our spirit guides yes to the all angelic realm we welcome you to our soul beautiful soul family we welcome you as well guys welcome back to my channel um i was talking about the spirit guides you know um the angelic realm and why you should work with them as well it's not about forcing anyone to do anything at all right keep in mind that the angelic realm the angelic realm is not only it's not limited to only the ancestors only the spirit guides <laughs> okay so i want i wanted to to come back here to to highlight these other points okay no the angelic realm it does not only relate to the ancestors or to our spirit guides alone. You know, um, quantum physics, that's what it teaches. It teaches us about the unseen, right? The unseen, you know, your thought body, your emotional body, your energy body. Okay. Quantum physics teaches these things. All right. But I want to go back to say this. So, the angelic realm is not only about the ancestors, about the spirit guides. It's not only about your angels. That's not the only thing that is there. All energy, the collective energy, it lies within that, that, within that dimension as well. The earth's frequency is also, so energy, frequency, those are in that, that realm. <laughs> okay, that's the realm. That's the realm that we're talking about, the unseen realm, the quantum realm, the, the spiritual realm, right? It is consists of, it is, yeah, it is consists of all of those elements, right? All of those elements from our angels, our guardians, our ancestors, our spirit guides, all the information that is within the conscious collective um, feel, right? Um, or just within that, that energy feel that we are all trying to tap into that innate energy that innate consciousness that is just there keep in mind it's working with energy all right and it's very important to be able to identify the energy that you are working with so like I, okay so say for example you can you can work with mother's earth energy um you can work with the the etheric realm energy you know, you can work with the cosmic energy flow. You can, so it, there's a vast energy. Um, that's why it's important for you to understand energy, energy body. What is energy? What is frequency? What is vibration? Right? These are all this pretty much the same thing. Somewhat, right? Somewhat. Everything is one. <laughs> Everything is one. So even though it comes in different form, it's still one right um so i don't want when i when i'm saying work with the energies work with the energies become familiar within that feel as well within that space as well right it's important for you yourself to work with your own energy to, to identify to consciously know what energies that you're immune in right now that that you are transmuting what energy is it you know be aware of that be aware of manipulation of energy, right? What is manipulating the energy? What does that look like? You know, manipulation is a very strong word to use, but it just means how to control your own energy, to control the energy fields that are around you as well. It's important to know that, right? And once you're able to tap into the energy field, which is the same energy field, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angel, your higher self, the, the actual conscious energy field that, that, that is oneness, right? That, that creates. So that's what energy is. It's not just one specific thing. It's vast, right? It's a vast playing field. For you guys to grasp you know it's so deep that's why i wanted to break it down that's why i wanted to come back to say it's not just about that energy is energy right and as i stated before too negative energy is an energy that just needs to be healed as well right so be conscious of your energy field be conscious of the energy that you're working with do you work with energy do you 
identify your own energy? Do you know what your energy is? Do you know how potent your own energy is? You know, can you assess your energy field? That's, that's what it is. It's all energy. <laughs> it's all vibration. You're not being forced for anything in this world. You can take as much time as you want. Be patient with yourself. You know, clarity, it comes through just wisdom, I think, you know? I think clarity comes through wisdom, through experience, through acknowledgement, you know? Identify who you are, identify the energy that you carry so you're able to, to identify if there's any other energy that's attached to you through your generation as well. You know, are you able to, to, to discern energy that is in your household? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, not saying that to say this, you know, be conscious of who you are. Be fully aware of who you are. Know your energy, know the energy that you entangle with, because that's what it is. It's about quantum entanglement. Okay. It's about energy. It's, I can call a certain energy. Uh, my ancestors, I can call a certain energy, spirit guide. I can call it whatever is it that we want to call it. Okay. I we we just put labels to think for us to to better grasp that concept of something but just keep in mind that it's just energy it's about different energy in different forms okay and how can you manipulate or how can you become an alchemist within these energy fields as well right so it come back to what i was saying i was practicing alchemy you know everything is just one flow it's one flow you know, it's one flow and it's important for you to, to be able to, to understand the flow of energy that you are in. You know what I'm saying? Like be aware of the energy that you are in, right? That you are working with. And you best know that anything from your send out to your energy saying you're clearing and opening doors, it's proven. And it's not by, not by me alone, by tons of other awakened ones. You know, that leave in the comment section below, guys. Do you work with ancestors? If we can sit on Mother's Earth and we can show our appreciation, you can show our gratitude, you know, we can embrace her, yeah, physically touch her and love her and all of these things. And that's her energy, that's her frequency that we quantum entangle through. Okay. So what is it that you do um to work with your ancestors, right? Leave in the comment section below. Um, be aligned, stay focused, you know, stay aware. Try to stay conscious of those unconscious thoughts and energy and action. <laughs> All right, so that's it. Um, until then, guys, I'll talk to you in my next video. So, yeah, keep raising your vibration. Keep raising your frequency. And we will talk in the next one. All right. Salute. Bye.